Welcome to another episode of My Face. Today we're going to talk about, in our warfare school, communications. One of the most important things for a cohesive unit is to have communications. And all throughout history they use many different forms. We go from uh, way back, they had flags, they used drums, they used trumpets. Uh, so that they can hear them. They didn't have radios or anything like that. The, the armies were gathered too massively to, you know, just use hand signals and stuff. Which, you know, I, I'm sure they did. But we're going to talk about something different because we're in a different kind of warfare today. You can't just call someone up on the phone. Or you really use too many electronics. Because most electronics are all monitored everything everything so what do you do well knowing the capabilities of potential enemies in a superior force situation you have to really be creative all right so Talking on the phone, you know, it's kind of hard to get away from using electronics, especially when you want to coordinate a unit over radio or just talk on the phone. When you get together with your buddies and you talk about these things, don't have any electronics. Don't even have your phone because your phone whether you like it or not, whether it's off or not, or even has any power, they can listen. You know, microwaves, you can power things with it. Yes, yeah, so you can get energy from microwaves. That's right. It's a transmission of power. They can turn on your phone, your camera, and listen in. Or even if you're in a, a Faraday cage, your phone stores it. And they just re-upload it later when it comes in contact with a cell tower. Doubt me. Look it up. You know, they talk about it. The information's out there. But I'm not here to do your homework for you. I'm here to show you uh, some things about the new type of warfare we're going to be encountering. All right. Remember, this isn't just a bunch of yahoos that are waging war against America. These people are backed by big money, unlimited money and resources. They can do anything they want. They got plenty of it. You're not going to drain them, so don't try to think that you're going to trick your way out of it. You're not. Attrition's not on your side in this aspect. Okay. One of the things, let's start out with uh, small units. Think about your radios, okay? They all have a wattage, and if you rule of thumb is about one watt per mile. Okay, so if you need to talk to someone 100 yards away, you don't use a 5 watt radio. Okay, you can get quarter watts. You can get little radio headsets that don't have the power to broadcast as far. Okay, forget about cell phones. Toss them in the garbage. They're shit. And you just spying on yourself for them. What's the matter with you? All right. Every time you have a meeting, you check everyone. Get one of those little devices. I got one. You can just you know, go up and down on their body with a little antenna, and they'll tell you if there's anything broadcasting on them. It's always helpful. All right. So when you have serious meetings, no electronics. None. And nothing in the room that's electronics, because they have microphones that are so tiny. They have microphones that can be made out of the casing of your electronics. Yeah, it doesn't even have to have microphones. The vibrations of your uh, the piece of metal that it's 
a wires hook too. Okay? They use them in music and stuff. They're, I can't remember the name of the microphone. It's off the top of my head. Uh, a friend of mine told me I had it written down here somewhere just for this, and of course uh, <laughs> I misplaced it. But you can find them. Some of you probably already know what I, I'm talking about. All right. They also have lasers. They can point it right at your window every time you speak. You're putting out sound frequency and everything around you vibrates. They like to point a laser that can detect all those little tiny vibrations on your window and listen to every word you say in that room. Sound absorption's good, you know, or just be outside, away from everything. Just be outside. Best place. Okay. So now we're moving on to uh Let's see. Forgive me, I can't see very well, of course. You guys know that. Um, let me get my little trusty light here. Oh, by the way, I hope you like my new introduction. Um, I'm trying out new things. I'm still learning with it, okay? I'm not some YouTube guru or some shit like that. Or I didn't even intend to do this some reason I need to okay. we all have our callings and they always come at some time that you don't know so I got this so I can see my notes because I fixed the lighting a little bit uh, hopefully it's a little better so you can at least see my face better rather than looking at a half a face there okay now when you communicate you don't want the enemy to know what you're doing if they're listening in they're always trying to find ways of listening in that's just what you do and you should be doing that too and we'll get into spying and stuff and um, using electronics and stuff like that later on about how to listen in to other people okay now, get rid of your phones when you, like I said, there's other ways of communication. You can use objects. Okay, they see you walking with an object. Some of these codes are predetermined. It's a code. Whether you put an object over here or you move it one millimeter to the left to the right and they walk in that room and you're not there but they know it's supposed to be right where it was but they know if it is moved that is the whole entire paragraph of communication you can determine you determine what that means with whoever it is you're with and that's not universal of course the the recipient has to understand the code Okay. you can do that with clothing and actions and, or inaction you walk out of a building uh, if you walk left it means something if you walk right it means something else Okay, so you set that up ahead of time, your types of communications that you want to use could mean anything. You now, other things, pictures. You can use pictures. Uh, a lot of times, even in videos and uh, letters and stuff like that, there's all kinds of codes. You can look them up on how to do all different kinds of codes, okay? They're out there, you can find them. But you can put micro codes on stuff dots whatever all right micro codes is something that you can't notice or see with your eye like down in this video say uh, I have a dot right here one of the pixels you can go in later and zoom it up and you can have all your little message right in there and you never notice it they don't notice it, it could be up here it could be over here you know could be anywhere on that video that you predetermined and you could write the whole thing on there and nobody would ever know. You could do that with pieces of paper. 
to send information. This is about sending information to and from. You can get in the tactical stuff and everything like that. I'm not getting in the tactical stuff. This is uh, this is operational level stuff. All right, I'm not going to get in the tactics. All you guys, you know your tactics. You know your radio communications. You know your hand signals and everything like that. Okay, we're not going to get into that. We don't need to. You can look all that stuff up. It's free stuff on the internet. You just look it up and it's all there how to do universal signs and codes and stuff like that. One of my favorites is the pig pen code because you can manipulate that any which way you want and it kind of looks cool because it looks like alien language or something. But you know those kind of codes can be cracked because there's patterns. What you want to do is you want to eliminate the patterns. Get rid of the patterns that's how they can crack a code I've devised a way you know maybe someone else has too. you know I, I didn't get it from anyone else I could have invented it for all I know I don't know you know but <laughs> it's cool stuff and we've been my friend and I have been using it for years and little did we know it could have turned into something like this if we actually really dove into it. Um, someone just started out as a joke, really, and it just kind of grew over the years, simple little things, and it grew into meanings. Like, let's use an example. Get your fingers out of your ass. That started from why don't you take your fingers long uh, out of your ass long enough and use them to dial your phone and give me a call so you could very easily mean get your fingers out of your ass means call me Norton another one I won't tell you what that means but as another example there's all different kinds of things you can set up and it blends right into regular conversation. Regular everyday conversation. I could tell you, um, I hope you like my video. To certain people, that means something. Triggers. Could mean a trigger. Could mean something is a go. Nobody's ever going to crack that. They don't know. The only ones that know is me and that one person and you set it up ahead of time. You can do it right in front of people. But as you're having conversation, you want to talk about something on the phone, you use that kind of code. You set these things up ahead of time. And there's no pattern to it if, you, if you're fluid. Okay, you don't use it every single time and then they can put two and two together. Like every time he says, let's go fishing, I'm bringing my fishing pole and then every single time you end up bringing your rifle and you're at the range it's a pattern so you don't want patterns you want to kind of rotate things around okay it's very important that you do that if you because everything you don't know where you're being recorded and by what or who's listening All right triggers you know any kind of trigger could be a form of communication Someone says something, and you get offended. You're not really offended, but you just sent a signal to someone else that means something else. Okay, But to everyone else, it looks like you're just being a dick. Right? Codes. Let's see. Um, bodily functions. You know, you go walk out. And you're like, hey man, if you see me cough like this, <coughs> you know, make it sound realistic or whatever, uh, that means it's a no go. Or it means stop playing with yourself. Whatever you want it to mean, it's going to mean. If you cough this way, <coughs> it means something else. You use the same thing, so different bodily function. Blow your nose, you know. Squint your eyes, but oh man, I got something in my eye. 
mean anything. Use natural codes. Animals do it. Animals use their, their body more, more than anything for their communications. They, you know, wag their tail. They, they, one of our cats, you know, he, when he comes up, he's got his tail like this. It means hello. He's happy. He's happy to see you. you know, things like that. Either that or it's gang related. I I'm starting to wonder about them cats. I think it's gang related, but, you know, because they all seem to do that with their tail. <laughs> you never know. They could be up to something. I'm groundhogs. Tell you what. Now let's see the different clothings and uh, you know actions or inactions. You know the the clothing. You know you wear a certain color on a certain day. A lot of people do that. You set it up months ahead of time. You say if you ever see me wearing a red hat, you know this is going down. So you do it right out in the open. Right out in the open. No one will ever know. And then, you know, like I said, you do it over the phone. With general conversation. You can do it in letters. There's all kinds of cool letter codes that you can do when you're writing a letter. And you check those ones out. They're pretty neat. But, you know, they're known. So, you got you have to be original in your thinking. Let's see. Did I cover everything? I might have covered everything. Runners. When, when you're out in the bush or something like that, you got the old school guys know. You have a runner. Or you run a line, you know, a, a closed circuit. I mean, if you look at the back side of my uh, armored car, you'll see that little round thing on the back. That's for communication wire. As you're driving down the road, you're, you're putting out communication wire as you go. Pretty neat. You could do that. Uh, let's see. I think I pretty much covered everything on that. I mean, it's, it's cut and dry. Use that code, like the word Breckham, and it's also how you say it, tones and everything like that. Just like I talked about in Psychological Warfare, there's all kinds of ways of communicating. If you look at some of the uh, shitheads, even Pompeo just recently uh, put out a tweet, and it's of a dog, okay, and he's off the leash. And then you have Q talking about things are off the leash now, okay. You also saw Obama doing it and some of these other shitheads doing it with their dog, some dog died, and all of a sudden a week later somebody keels over, that's important. Okay. They communicate like that. You, you watch them. Watch how they communicate. But you can do it better. And you keep it tight-lipped, and you keep it within just a, a certain group of people, or just one person, he can interpret for others. So then you don't have a whole bunch of people knowing your code. One trusted person. Okay. Communication. Communication is everything. If you're not communicating, you're not doing much of anything. So I suggest, after you get your leadership, now I'm doing these uh, videos in order for a reason. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this isn't for the more advanced people. Pe you know, there's a lot of people who know so much more than I do about it. This is for you, the people that want to get something done but don't have the experience, never have the mindset, want to do something, want to get ready. And this will help you. Even some of you advanced guys, I mean, you know, I might say something, you, you have no idea where it came from, what happened, what, you know, or just refresh your memory, or get your mindset back into that way of thinking, always be thinking, you want to be a leader, you, you got to set these things up, you do, okay, so, 
I think that about covers the communication that I wanted to cover. Is all forms of communication. It's just be original. Come up with something. You won't be sorry. So I'll leave it at this. 20 minutes. And uh, I hope you guys uh, like my videos now. I'm s starting to learn more. And um, hopefully they'll be a little bit more palatable and exciting and not so drawn out. I appreciate the feedback. Give me more feedback. Hopefully one day I'll have you know something set up here, a better uh, uh, backdrop, or maybe start doing some outside. This camera isn't set up for outside, and I, I don't have a camera for outside. So um, one day, maybe. Okay. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Give a like. I see a lot of people watching my videos, but they, they don't add a like. If you don't like it, say something. You know, it'll help me improve. I'm um, doing the best I can. You know, I don't have to do this. I, I want to. So, um, good luck. If you have questions, give me a shout. Until then, be careful.